Consider this. Graham Hancock has been on a 20-year struggle to reveal the truth. The Maverick researcher insisted that a highly evolved human civilization was wiped out by a global catastrophe some 12,500 years ago. This is remembered now only in this and biblical accounts such as the story of Noah and the flood. His ideas have been mocked and dismissed by mainstream experts since he first spoke out in the mid 90s. Derided as a fantasist, a deluded amateur looking simply to sell his books, he was not going to just roll over and lay down. So when the research was published recently that vindicated many of his claims and proved that this lone voice had been right for 20 years, perhaps it isn't surprising that the announcement was as low-key as humanly possible. Wait till you hear this. Just after 11,000 BC, experts have long agreed when the Earth was gradually emerging from the last ice age, a cataclysmic event caused sudden, shocking climate change. This ushered in a big chill known as the Younger Dryas, which lasted about 1,500 years. The stories that have been passed through the ages give us all the proof we need. More than 200 ancient myths belonging to tribes from the Arctic to the equator, telling of an advanced human civilization destroyed by flood and fire. Added to this was compelling physical evidence in the form of giant boulders platinum deposits and tiny diamonds found across North America, this is the debris of a colossal impact. Our planet was hit by a comet. A blazing asteroid plunged out of the firmament and struck with the force of several thousand nuclear bombs bursting simultaneously. It wiped out many large animal species, including the woolly mammoth and the sloth bear, and it almost destroyed humanity. Some people did survive, including the ancestors of the Ojibwe tribe of the Canadian grasslands, who still tell the story of the long-tailed heavenly climbing star which swept out of the sky to scorch the earth. Their myths relate that it left behind a different world. Part of the Gobekli carving shows a headless man, a graphic symbol of human carnage. The key finding was a series of animal carvings on a pillar known as the Vulture Stone, which represented constellations of stars as well as the comet itself. The stars were not represented as we would see them in the sky today, but as they were in 10,950 BC, enabling the scientists to point with certainty to the date of the comet strike. This means that when the Gobekli stones were made around 9,000 BC, that is approximately 11,000 years ago, the sculptors had the astronomical know-how to backdate the constellations, shifting their pattern by a couple of millennia. And they were working with information that had been passed down over 2,000 years. That shows spectacular sophistication. Yet according to common wisdom, humans were savage at this time, hunter-gatherers no more advanced than cavemen, without any knowledge of engineering or mathematics. Most archaeologists struggle to explain how such a primitive culture could have built Gobleki TP, now that the notion of a comet strike is beyond dispute. The thinking is that abundant wild crops of wheat and barley were wiped out by plunging temperatures. Nomadic tribes were forced to combine, sharing their knowledge and cooperating to survive as they develop techniques to grow enough food to survive. How would they find the time to invent complex maths, plot the heavens, master architecture, and learn intricate stoneworking? All those skills and more were needed to build Gobekli Tipi. Stonehenge, which was built around 5,000 years ago, consists of rough-hewn slabs. It is ingenious, but compared to Gobekli Tipi, it's like a Paris church besides Chartres Cathedral. For 20 years, Hancock has insisted that there is only one explanation for this explosive intellectual evolution. All that knowledge already existed. A human civilization predated the comet strike. We don't know what language they spoke nor how they recorded their knowledge, but unless a band of refugee hunters in Turkey 11,000 years ago suddenly cracked every major branch of human learning all at the same time, that elder civilization must have existed. The knowledge that the survivors of the comet possessed must have seemed like pure sorcery to the ordinary nomad. 
Perhaps that's why, even now, we humans have an instinctive urge to believe in magic and feel sure it must have existed during some golden age, because to our ancient ancestors, magic was a very real phenomenon. What do you guys think? Comment below. Thank you for watching.